channel. Uh, last month or so, we've been talking about building a rabbit pen and a chicken pen, and the kids have been on me. Uh, Addison wants a rabbit that lays colored eggs, and uh, I have not found one of those yet. I don't know what Harley's all worked up about. Uh, so Layton and the kiddos have been on me this weekend. I've actually got to go back to work Tuesday, but we went to Lowe's today and we actually purchased all of the stuff to actually build the actual pins. Uh, we got, an, I believe if I calculated everything right, we got enough of stuff to actually make the rabbit pin and the, uh, and the uh, chicken pin. Uh, I'm going to try to build a pretty decent chicken house or a hen house as well. Uh, build it where it'll last and that way th uh, varmints and stuff can't get inside of it. So what do you think about it Layton? Yeah, I'm not gonna fight some chickens. Huh? I don't want to fight some of my chickens. No, we ain't gonna fight no chickens. You can't fight chickens no more. You don't even know what chicken fights are. You talk about the chicken fighting in water. Huh? No, I don't. <laughs> All right, but yeah, we uh, like I say, went down to Lowe's today, and we purchased just about everything. I think uh, there's probably a few things I left out that I'm gonna need to get. But uh, I've got to get probably a couple more sheets of plywood. I just don't know how big I'm going to actually make the hen house yet. But uh, I, since I was down there, I figured I'd go ahead and get the stuff that I needed. Um, as you can see, the, the guy that's really loud in the background, Harley, he's doing really good now. Um, if, you, if you didn't join us the other night live, uh, I kind of explained what happened to Harley uh, here last week. I made an arrest last week and um, I had the guy actually sitting in the front seat. At the time he wasn't under arrest and um, he wasn't under arrest or detained at the time. Um, so once I found the narcotics in the vehicle, I then placed him under arrest. So here's the deal, before I even make this traffic stop, Harley and I was down the road actually f playing fetch and he just got out to go to the bathroom. And uh, so I ended up making the arrest and we got back up to the sheriff's office to the jail to book him in. And after booking him in, Harley got extremely sick. He started vomiting, he started dry heaving. I mean, it was coming out both ends. I mean, he was like very, very ill. Um, Harley had never been like that. I, now, I've been around Harley when he is sick and he has never acted like that. Um, so, after, um, after I finished the paperwork and stuff, I actually pulled him out and asked him, you know, hey, here's the deal, did you give my dog anything? Of course, he said no. I didn't want to take a chance, so I'm, I went ahead and went to the house and got some charcoal and then ended up charcoaling Harley. And um, I really was kind of worried that he wouldn't make it through the night, but Hey, buddy. But, um, okay, I'll let you out. I really didn't think he'd make it through tonight, but he did. Um, so when the train comes by, what are you doing, huh? When the train comes by, Harley will howl at the train every time it comes by. So I knew that morning without getting up and going to um, out to his pen, that he, he, he was still alive. Um, so... He still wasn't 100%, so I did not take him to work with me. Uh, he stayed home, and then the next morning, he uh, actually started passing the charcoal stuff. I believe it was three days that he was down. I went ahead and brought him back to work with me the fourth day. It really hurts him to stay at home. So, uh, anyways, I'll get off that subject. Luckily, Harley is fine. He made it through it. It was a close call. Now we're going to do some things to prevent this from happening again. In my, in my whole career, this has never happened. So uh, I'm going to end up getting some plexiglass and putting uh, by a sliding door. And that way I can just open the door and just play with him while we're driving around and stuff. And uh, stuff can't get passed through the window. But anyways, back to the lumber here. I want to say hi. Okay. Hi. All right. Hi. Hi. Well, get in here. The kiddos want to say hi. There y'all go. Hi. Hi. Y'all have fun today? Yeah. Y'all have y'all ate yet? Yeah, I did. What what'd y'all eat today? Tacos. I eat burrito and I eat two tacos. 
Oh, wow. You're going to grow up and be a big girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And my dildo my dildo not too bad, but my dildo don't pee. Yeah, that's good. So we ended up getting about 52 befores, uh, one sheet of plywood, and there was actually, uh, I, I purchased some other wood yes yesterday while I was at the store. Um, and some one by twelves and one by fours to actually, we're, we're, we've got something fixing to go on in the house. Um, so I actually, believe it or not, that sheet right there cost $45. I believe they said like Birch something. I, I still don't know my woods very well. So um, what we're gonna do here is this is actually gonna go inside. Um, being we got the materials and stuff that we're gonna go ahead and make t-shirts and our merchandise and stuff. We're going to extend the, we're going to make a little area in the living room, take out my desk and kind of combine it all together. Hopefully it works out, we'll see. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get off here and I'm going to go ahead and unload this and hopefully we can get started on the pen in the next couple days or so. Uh, we'll just see how everything works out. I've been trying to get ready for the meet and greet. Um, so we're just going to play everything by ear. I usually shoot from the hip on everything. So until next time. Alright guys, I finally got it unloaded. That's kind of a workout. That's a lot of boards. But um, hopefully we'll get started on the pin here in the next few days. the stuff to actually start making shirts and stuff, but we don't actually have an exact place to do that. And as you can see, we're making our shirts and stuff over here on the floor. I don't know if you can see that very well. But, um, so we're, we've got to make room and just change some things up so uh, it looks a lot nicer when you walk in and uh, we can start putting things together so what we're going to do is go ahead and combine my desk and another table over here uh, for stephanie to do her stuff on and then we'll do the uh, actual shirts and the heat press and all the vinyl work over here as well so i'm going to do a lot of fast forwarding and Alright guys, sorry about the lighting. Um, it's dark right now. That's the best time for us to get things done is when the kids are asleep. And uh, I cannot fit this uh, big sheet of plywood uh, inside the shop to actually cut it. So me and Stephanie's going to actually cut it out here outside underneath the porch light. So bear with us with the, the lighting. And once again, I apologize, but we'll be moving inside shortly and all the other cutting will be inside.
as good as it could have possibly went. We don't have much room. Hopefully one day we will get a bigger shop and be able to actually do what we want, but we will make it work with what we got. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this inside and then we'll get some two before's and we'll build the frame. guys welcome back so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put a few screws in the uh, the top and kind of tighten it down and then I got some laminate I'm gonna actually put on top and uh, we're gonna try and see how it works if it don't work we'll change it up and try something else so.
just going to finish it up with the laminate. That wasn't so hard at all. Um, like I say, I don't recommend. I don't recommend using this for flooring. I don't think it would last very long. But for what I'm going to use it for is uh, just an actual work table. I think it'll work. Um, for now, this is all I'm going to do to it. Later on, I'll go in to put some drawers and stuff. But I just had to get this in here and get this started. So it's kind of like we'll work a little bit on it as we go. But right now, that's going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like I can say I've got probably right about 40 Right about $75 into this table. After I put the drawers in it and all that, it'll probably be right about 100 bucks. So you can make this table for about 100 bucks. It's nothing real hard uh, to make. Like I say, I'm not a carpenter at no means. But all I can do is build my rustic flags. Uh, the rest of this, I just shoot from the hill. I imagine if I can do it, just about anybody out there can do it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have not yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Check that notification bell up there. That way you don't miss any of the latest videos. And like and share. Thank you and God bless.